I don't think I will ever stop doing the introduction like that. I think it's quite funny. So anyway, it uh, just back into a puzzle, obviously. I know for you guys, it must seem like I'm always saying, oh, I'm back into a puzzle. Oh, I'm out of a puzzle. But, but um, I do take some breaks sometimes. And uh, it's just kind of funny to me how I know in real world when I'm taking a break, but you guys in uh, internet land may not, uh, may not, may, you guys may think I'm that skilled at a puzzle that I can just get the puzzle done, you know, um, all in one sitting. However, that is certainly not the case. So <laughs> uh, let's not, uh, let's not give me too much credit. But um, yeah, I am ready to get back into a puzzle today. I am, I honestly didn't really know what to do with myself today. So I feel like this is a good use of my time, but we shall see, I guess we shall see. Okay, so I'm not even sure if you can see. Let me see down, eh, I'll move it over a little bit, I guess. Um, it is so different doing the thousand piece puzzle for a while, I was doing the 500s, and uh, yeah, I certainly do notice a difference in terms of the complexity of a puzzle. I think, I really do think that the um, 500s are a little bit easier. Um, now, again, I'll probably go to do a um, 500 next time and struggle with it immensely. So again, let's not give me too much credit here. <laughs> All right, come on, Fritzy. Come on, Fritzy. Every time, <clears throat> every time that I get going in a, in a puzzle, she decides to, uh, one cat in particular decides that she is going to um, try to see if she can move the tripod, I guess. So, okay. So I'm just working, I'm just gonna continue to work away. Um, I did do some editing, uh, and by editing I mean I just watched uh, the video that I have filmed so far of this puzzle. I have re I have watched it online and uh, just seeing, you know, did I like what I'm saying? You know, making sure, not dropping a swear or anything inappropriate, so. Um, but yeah, it seems pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Um, so that's a plus, that's a, you know, anything I can really do to help my self-confidence um, because again, with PTSD, I think that's probably a big chunk of it too is that you're, you feel, you know, you feel as if, well, I struggled immensely and I still struggle with feeling like a loser. It's just, I feel like I have no place in my own life and um, that's a really hard way to feel. So, you know, if I can figure out a way to not feel like that, I'm certainly going to try. So anyway, I don't know what this this one section I don't know I know the pieces belong here I just can't figure out the order in which they go and that is quite annoying there's one <laughs> there's two <laughs> sometimes I feel like you have to complain of the puzzle and then the puzzle kind of checks in and checks in and, and gives you a little reward like oh you've you've been struggling here's a here's a little reward Um, okay, let me think of, sorry, my brain, I am tired today, so I might be a little bit more quiet than usual. 
I'm going to go back to the board and see if I can find any of those other pieces, though. Okay, there's one. Um, but yeah, what can I talk about? Um, super tired today. I don't even... I don't really know why, I just am, but, uh, well, that's kind of a stupid statement, isn't it? I have, I have PTSD, so some days I'm going to be tired, and, oop, darn it, hang on. I gotta go under the table now, hang on. Where did that piece go? Oh, there we go. Oh, the things you'll do for a puzzle piece, eh? Oh my goodness. But yeah, I, um, I don't know, I guess I feel more burnt out lately. It, um, it's not a nice feeling. And to be honest, I hate it. I wish that I wish that I had the same energy levels that I used to have. But lately, I'm just, ugh, I tell you, I, uh, I'm pulling at the very last bits of me to actually do stuff day to day. I, uh, I feel quite low. Um, not in terms of sadness, just in terms of like physical energy. I just feel like I have none and ugh, it is not the feeling I like. I'm used to working at like 200%. So feeling like I have maybe, <laughs> feeling like I maybe have 5% is not a feeling I enjoy. And um, you can imagine, you can imagine, you know, it... Uh, it's just not a nice feeling. Like even, even talking is like, oh gosh, I feel, which is kind of silly that I decided to, uh, cause it was, it was my decision to start this puzzle again today, but I don't know how long I'll be able to do it. I am, I feel that tired. Um, so I just don't know, but. That's okay, I'll figure it out. I will certainly figure it out. But the sun's coming out, so that's always a nice thing. It's annoying too, I think, when you try a puzzle piece and it doesn't fit, but then honest to goodness, you go back and it fits and it's like, ah, like, <laughs> didn't we, didn't we decide that you didn't fit there already? Oh no, my mistake. But uh, if you're a puzzler, you know how that, that's how she goes sometimes. It, uh, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I did do, I watched some of the video for, um, this, uh, puzzle and yeah, um, I still haven't, I, I certainly won't script, um, my episodes, but some things that I think that I can talk about, let's see, uh, I'm too tired to do both. So give me a second here. Um, just making sure it's still recording. Um, what can I talk about? Oh, I know. I can talk about the reason why I did all of the all of the educations that I did because I'm sure that some people are really flabbergasted at how I could, in good conscience, um, gosh, that word every time, uh, how I could actually stick with the idea of um, having so many different educations and uh, absorbing the debt that comes with all that education. So, um, yep, I have no problem talking about though, though that decision to do all of those different educations. That's, um, those are my decisions to make and I stand by those decisions, so. Um, <clears throat> so I decided to um, do a Bachelor of art um, with a history major. Now, interesting backstory about that, actually. 
Um, okay, let me pick. I'm sorry, I'm so tired today that I cannot actually do um, everything all at the same time like I usually can. I am very, very, very tired for some reason. I feel like I slept well, but clearly not. So I gotta pick things to focus on. I don't know why I put puzzle pieces in the middle of my board. I actually hate that as I do it again. <laughs> Okay, so when I was in grade 11, um, we were to study the Holocaust um, by watching uh, Schindler's List. Now, I couldn't do it. I could not watch that movie in the class. Um, I felt so... I, I understand, trust me, I was a history, uh, World War II was my major in university. Although the movie Schindler's List is not a documentary per se, I really struggled to watch it and not be consumed by it, to not feel such hopelessness it it really became quite not dangerous for me to watch it but it just it 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 really like it was it seemed to be that there we go it seemed to be that other kids could watch it and carry on with their day where I couldn't I oh my goodness now fast forward to um first year, uh, their first degree, and that is what I major in. I don't really know what switched for me, but I do know one day um, I became very interested in World War II. Um, I don't really know what it was about it that changed for me, but I do know that in grade 11, when we had to watch Schindler's List, I had to watch it from home. I could not watch it in class because I found it, as I said, just so sad. Um, and I couldn't separate myself, I guess, from the horror that had happened. And I don't even know, it's not like I was responsible for what happened, but I just felt just so, like, I still to this day, I, you know, I just think that, well, I think it's really a test for the, the writers and the, well, not the writers, that's a stupid thing to say, but the way the script was written, the way the words, the way the imagery was used in the, in the movie Schindler's List, like obviously it was very well done because it affected me so. And, you know, yeah, it was, it was just such an interesting thing. So, so just see, you can, you can see, I can hardly talk about not being able to, uh, about the difficulties I had in grade 11. So, I don't really know why I went into that in school. All I know is I did. Um, no regrets. It, doing the course and doing the course, um, I'm so sorry, I know this video is a struggle today. I am that tired. Doing the course and being able to travel overseas and like touch bullet holes and be in cells and be in camps and be in places that these people were was so interesting and really, I think, made it easier to... made it easier to not be scared of it in terms of 
I don't know. I, I'm not articulating this well, and I feel like I'm doing a discredit to the horrors that was the Holocaust. But I just mean by being able to go overseas and have a glimpse into the real life instead of the textbooks or the Hollywood movies or the whatever, the documentaries, that was easier to do for some reason. I don't know why. Um, our tour guides were phenomenal, like phenomenal. And perhaps they helped us comprehend. Because again, we were early 20s doing these programs. And I don't really know if we understood what was going on i don't know if we really you know i i want to say we did but but did we because why would a movie affect us so much but yet like being in person like i don't know but it was something that i do honestly think every person on this earth should try to learn something about it about the holocaust because it was just that whole experience of, you know, going over, it was, it was everything. It was just, wow. So I started St. Mary's with a BA. Um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Um, but the history program seemed really interesting. I actually did like Egyptian history. Um, I did Greek history. Um, I did, uh, as I said, World War II. Um, very, very interesting, like just to see how different cultures really like what they value in terms of, um, you know, the Egyptians and, um, you know, the the sun gods, like the amount of detail and thoughtfulness that they put into their worship is, you know, are, are in the past, um, the, the worshiping of the Ra, the sun god, like it's just, I think it's such a beautiful thing to like it was just yeah so anyway clearly i adored my time at saint mary's um as a history major um so yeah it, it was just it was something that i'm so glad i got i got to experience so um yeah so after that sorry i'm i am struggling so bad with this puzzle oh my gosh i feel like Hmm, I feel like an idiot with this puzzle right now. Okay, just talk to the puzzle. Every time I talk to the puzzle, I promise you it gives me a little reward. So just keep talking to the puzzle, I guess. Um, see, every time. Um, why did I do, after that I went to Toronto. Okay, so I think it, probably I did Toronto um, for a few reasons. One, I probably did it because... I knew that subconsciously I knew that I was going to do it alone and there was something very appealing in that for me um you know wanting to branch out um I am a child of divorce and it was right around that time that my parents um had decided to get a divorce um so I'm sure that you know wanting to move away had something to do with it um but I found a school and it was right downtown, right in the CBC building. And um, it was such an experience. It was freeing. It was, um, well, not just freeing. It was liberating. It was, um, to be honest, I grew up in a household where there was a lot of yelling and a lot of fighting. Um, so university really opened up my eyes as soon as I moved out. Um, it kind of opened up my eyes to like how things could be, how things should be, um, you know, how you didn't have to blah, 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 if you didn't want to. Um, that was totally an oh, eye opener for me. Um, so yeah, it, uh, it was everything. Um, now, I did try to base my second post-secondary education off of my first one not in terms of the history major 
but of learning when you're in history you learn like especially your first year with all your electives you learn like how people think because I, I did a BA so like you might do some psychology or some psych, um, psychiatric courses or you might do um, sociology courses or you know you might study the culture of this and so it was just interesting because like when you really get into it, it's, it, you know, you see influences of everything in everything. And I know that may seem like a silly sentence, but at the same time, if you get it, you get it. So I don't think I'm going to get these pieces of wood anymore. So I think I'm going to move on, but who knows? Maybe I'll get one or two more. Um, but what else can I say about Toronto? Um, yeah, it just... It was everything. It, it really was. So anyway, I'm just going to take a quick break, guys. I'll be right back.